Rebecca and you're watching SKG TV. Today I'm going to teach you how to cook a classic southern comfort food dish, chicken pot pie. So let's talk about what you'll need and then we'll get cooking. You'll need some white wine, chicken broth, heavy cream, shredded chicken, onions, carrots and celery diced, some fresh herbs, I'm using basil, oregano and thyme, a little flour for thickening, one store-bought pie crust, some bacon grease or butter, and a cast iron skillet. So I've got my onion, my carrots, and my celery here, and I've had some bacon grease uh, getting warm here on the stove. Oh yeah, you like that sizzle, don't you? I'm just adding these vegetables to my pan, and I'm gonna let them saute just until they turn translucent, just a couple of minutes, maybe four or five minutes. Ooh, it smells some kind of good in here, y'all. Don't forget to season. Add your salt and pepper. These vegetables have been cooking now for several minutes, and now we're going to add in the shredded chicken. And y'all, there are several ways you can get chicken for this recipe. What I did today was the simplest thing, and I bought a rotisserie chicken from the grocery store. So I've got white and dark meat in this bowl, and I'm just popping all that chicken that I shredded earlier, just using my hands, into my pan. And I'm just adding it to these vegetables, getting it good and incorporated. And then I'm going to come in here with our flour. This is about a fourth of a cup of flour that I'm adding. And that's just going to help it thicken up. It's going to provide a beautiful gravy when we add that cream and white wine and chicken broth later. You could also bake some chicken. You could boil some boneless, skinless chicken breast if you wanted to. Um, there's lots of ways to skin a cat. All right, here we come with the flour. Just toss it right in. Now I'm just stirring to combine. Now I'm adding in this chicken broth. This is two cups of low sodium chicken broth. Mmm, this is going to be so good, y'all. smells divine in this kitchen. And I'm also adding in a fourth of a cup of wine. You can omit this ingredient if you don't want to use it. And now that we've added this liquid, what that's doing is taking our seasoning down. So I'm going to re-season. You need to season at every step. Coming in here with a good bit of salt. Because that's a lot of chicken and a lot of liquid. And a healthy pinch of pepper. I like a lot of pepper. Oh yeah, and I've got this on a medium heat. I'm going to turn my heat up to about a medium high. And because we added that um, flour earlier, it's going to create a nice gravy now as this cooks and thickens. It's looking delicious. Here I come with the cream. And this is heavy cream, which makes it that much more rich and indulgent. Here's a little tip, y'all. I've got this time right here. Whenever you're taking fresh time off of the stem, you just want to hold it up high and go in the opposite direction and pull right down, and all those leaves come right off. So I've got my herbs here on my board. I'm just going to run my knife through them. Again, I'm using oregano, fresh thyme, and fresh basil. If you don't have an herb garden like I uh, am fortunate enough to in my backyard, you can certainly use dried herbs but you just want to uh, make sure you crush those herbs up before you add them in to whatever you're cooking them with. All right, now I'm gonna add these fresh herbs into our chicken pot pie. So guys, our mixture here has come up to a boil and I've turned it down to low because we just want it to be on a nice simmer. Now I'm just tossing in my fresh basil. This is my favorite part, yum. It's so fragrant and it's starting to thicken up. This is looking awesome. Here I come with my thyme and oregano. And these fresh herbs just add a nice pop of color 
and a really nice taste as well. All right, we're just gonna let this cook and simmer for about four or five more minutes, and then we'll be ready to add our pie crust and pop it in the oven. Our chicken pot pie is smelling amazing, and now that meat and all that liquid has had time to thicken up, and it's looking awesome. What I'm gonna do is turn the heat off and remove the pan from the heat. And I'm going to go in for a little taste just to see if we need to adjust it for seasonings. Alright, here goes.